shall we say, a London character, a well-known East End London character. He said, I don't really think I ought to be sitting in his seat. I'm Dave Slight. This is a story about which concerns uh, my good friend Dave Radford. And uh, it began when we, he was fighting the rematch with uh, James McCaury down in Leicester. And I travelled down there with a good friend of mine, Dick Smith. And we got to the ve venue very early. And as we walked in, Dick said to me, get the best seats in the house, Dave. So I went straight for the table nearest to the ring. Sat there ringside. Dick came with the drinks, a few of the lads joined us, and there we were, got the perfect view for the fight. That night, Dave was fighting in a six foot square bale ring. This was bare knuckle fighting at its most primitive. There was no room for dancing. This was a toe to toe fight. Anyway, we sat there in anticipation of the fight. There's a couple of preliminary fights on, and then the big fight still. Suddenly behind me, I heard the crowd start to move. I turned and looked. And this guy comes over from the security and says, excuse me, boys, you're in the VIP seats. You're going to have to move. Dick looked at the man and went, don't you recognize this man? And pointed at me. And I looked at the guy like that and he went, I'm ever so sorry, sir, I didn't recognise you, I'm sorry. He said, I'll get another table. So then he turns up, pulls another table, puts it at the side of our table and it's three seats. Then I realise what the commotion is behind me. There's a guy walking down with two big fellas with him. I looked at that man. I said to Dick, do you know what seat we've got here? He said, no. I said, well, the man behind me is called Dave Courtney. And the reason that I know him is because I saw him on television and he organised the security for Reggie Cray's funeral. And I know that he's, um, shall we say, a London character, a well-known East End London character. He said, no, I don't really think I ought to be sitting in his seat. He went, Dick sort of looked round at him, the lads come and sat, he said, I don't think there's any bother. He said, if he was upset with you, he would have shot you by now. <laughs> anyway, the fight went on. And this fight, in my opinion, the best bare knuckle fight I've ever seen. It lasted 18 minutes. The two men stood toe to toe and punched it out for 18 minutes. We were so close to the ring, you could actually hear every punch connected. And when Dave Radford was hitting that man with the big left and right hooks to the head. How he stood up when they were coming his way, I just don't know. And it was, it was hitting him so hard that he actually broke his hand on, on James's head. And so Dave had to quit the fight. But it was the greatest bare knuckle fight. And we got talking then to Dave Courtney as mates. And so I mentioned to him that we probably got some boxing coming up up this way, did he want to come up? And sure enough, when we had it to the Igat Ground Stadium, he turned up with all his pals. So, you know, we got that's how I got to know him. And I did say to him, I said, if you had a shot me, you wouldn't be in here today, because <laughs> you wouldn't have got an invite, mate. <laughs>